I didn't want to sort of build overdue expectations. But we did have screenings in the United States to general audiences in New York, in Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama. And everybody loved the film. So it, with that in mind, I, I really had hoped that the screening in Toronto was going to go well, but never imagined it's going to go as you know, phenomenally well as it did. From the conversations you had with attendants um, afterwards, what did they say to you appealed to them the most about the movie? You know, I think the honesty of the film, the fact that the film takes Madiba's story from a child as an eight-year-old all the way to president, but also that it demonstrates his weaknesses and his strengths and how special he became as but as a normal person he, you know he, he he's the kind of person that having seen the film you identify this his uniqueness is that he is on the one hand every man but in, on the other hand very special in the things that he did um, but it was really uh, that people embraced his journey and and knew so little about it that it uh, uh, was so fantastic for them. As difficult as it was to condense um, his life into two and a half hours, what was the, what would you say was the single biggest challenge of the movie itself now, having done the script and all of that? The, the biggest challenges were, first of all, the actor that plays him. And, you know, we have Idris Alba. And, you know, when you go into this, you look at other actors who have played Mandela and you know how do you make that choice and no matter who it is it's a risk and when Idris Elba walked on to set the first day and we shot the end of the film at the beginning so he was playing uh, the Mandela that comes to become president and that's when I knew we have a special film that when he took on that role and delivered it on the first few takes of the day. I said, we have something. Do you have a special or favorite moment in that movie? Um, you know, making movies is so difficult. Um, and, you know, every, all of these components come together. But I think, as I, as I said, the, we shot the end of the movie in the beginning. So the first week. And on the one day the final shot of the film which you will see is Madiba on the mountain and Idris was walking down and there's kids running around him and we were in a helicopter shooting this and the sun was setting and literally as we finished that shot the sun set because we had no other opportunity to do it again and it was a perfect shot and that was like so special that it all came together it was almost like uh, magical it's Nelson Mandela. Amanda! That was our contributing editor, Vuyo Mvoko, chatting to Durban filmmaker Anand Singh. Coming up after the break, we go further afield.